I tried to just deal with it, but I'm really not a fan of these stock mirrors. Uh, they don't offer much adjustability. They come loose on me when I'm riding on the roads. And I'm always hitting them on tree branches. So I figure I'm gonna try out these double take mirrors. Um, they offer a lot more adjustability. So let me show you what you get. Two mirrors here and they come with two koozies so you can enjoy your trail sodas. How do I look? I don't want to stare at these too long. I might break the mirrors. But then you also get these uh, two little ball mounts that just screw right into where your original mirrors were mounted. Um, and then these ram mounts, which hold everything together and give you the adjustability that you want. All right, so this is how easy it is to install these things. Just unscrew your stock mirror. Screw this ball mount into there. You can see there's a spring right here. Just push on that, place your mirror into the mount, and it'll screw right on. And the nice thing about these is you could literally put them at any angle you want. And I've used these mounts for action cameras before and they, they work really well, so I'm gonna assume this mirror is not going anywhere. I don't know if you're gonna really find a good looking mirror out here for these dual sports, but at least this one's more functional and I could see if someone's gonna hit me. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this other side too. So I could already tell with these mirrors, I'm gonna have much better visibility. I still don't think they look great, but you know, it kind of is what it is. Um, I appreciate that you can adjust them real easy on the fly, you know, set them down for when you're on the trail. And then your bike is still street legal, so, you know, it serves its purpose. All right, so what is there really to say about side view mirrors, right? I guess the best test I could really put them through is to see if it solves the main problems why I bought them to begin with. So, number one, can I see people behind me so that I don't get rear-ended and killed? Number two, will they stay in place? As I showed you earlier, I had uh, problems with that with the stock mirrors. I couldn't get them to stay in place. And number three, can I get them out of the way when I don't want them in the way? Dual sport motorcycles, you know, you want to be on-road and off-road. There's nothing worse than being off-road, getting your mirrors smacked up by all the tree limbs and everything. So first things first, obviously with the shape of these, you can see much more of the things that are behind you. So we'll just go ahead and say test one, pass. They're better than stock. I can see the people behind me. I know I'm not going to get hit at a stoplight. Um, you gotta watch your back. You gotta be aware of your surroundings out here. Awesome little Volkswagen that just passed. All right, so test two. We want to see if these mirrors are gonna stay in place. Like I said, I've used these mounts before for like action cameras, so you can even see it right here. I really have no doubt that these are gonna stay in place when I get up to speed. Obviously these mirrors here are a huge upgrade from the stock ones. Um, you can see people behind you. They're gonna stay in place. And they're easy to get out of the way when you don't want them in the way. I still don't think they look the best. Like I'm not a huge fan of the style of these mirrors, but they definitely get the job done. I'm gonna stick with these ones. They fixed the problems that I needed them to fix. I think they're better than the stock ones. So, if you're looking to upgrade your mirrors, check out the double take ones. I don't think you can really go wrong with them. And uh, 
If you're interested in the KLX 300, you want to see some more content, on-road riding, off-road riding, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. And I'll catch you on the next one.